Okay. Hey, good afternoon and welcome to the finance committee meeting for the village of Point Edward. Uh, is there any pecuniary interest? No, no. And no delegations. Nope. Um, prior meeting minutes have been circulated at the last council meeting and approved. And do we have business arising from the minutes? Nothing I'm aware of. Is the task list the same? For all the committees, you mean? No, for the business arising from the minutes. That it would go basically, list, like, it? there might be some overlap. Um, there's not a whole lot on the task list about from finance. No, I know. there was. I think there was one item when I looked at it, the one that you had just sent recently. Yeah. And it was an ongoing issue and it required some time. Yep. Okay. All right, uh, seeing no council correspondence, moving to health and safety. I think everything was good there. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Just catching up with myself here. Yep. Good. Yeah, everything was good. Okay, I'll move to receive and file the Joint Health and Safety Committee inspection sheets. I second that. And then uh, our next item is the capital budget. Which is a week from Thursday. Yeah. So for the, with this committee, we'll start with revenues. So that one line's coming out. Do you? Transfer from contingency reserve. If yeah. you want to bear with me for about one minute, I can, Tina has a revised updated okay. and I can uh, so what I'm going to do Jim after this meeting if there's any more changes I'll update you again and then the day of the budget the books will still be okay because yeah. it's got all the quotes in it but I'll rerun new sheets for everybody so I've been working off of it so we'll have all the info in these big yeah. books, but, but you're I'll gonna add a revision like an extra page. Here. Yeah. Okay, great. Like a from stuff that happened today. Yeah. Going through it all again on budget day and redoing it again. Yeah, of course. So yeah, this is the updated one with anything that, uh, any changes that were made as a result of this morning's meetings. What? So one change that was made this, we know the grant from the fire, that fire grant that the guys applied for, they got a letter saying they're not getting that. So they took that out of revenue. Okay. Um, as far as revenue for the casino, we went with the actuals from last year. Um, everything there that's in green is the money that's being used to pay for the St. Clair uh, reconstruction project, St. Clair Light Street. Yeah. Um, we've added in $10,000 revenue from for the trade-in of the Kubota lawnmower that's in the Public Works Department. There's a purchase of a Kubota. Yeah. And so the 10,000 is the revenue from trading it in. Um, so I think that covers off the revenues. 260 is our map revenue used. So that's the actual revenue from 2023. Okay. Um, just a question about the casino. So you're not going to factor in that three week shutdown of this year? We have not. At this at point. At this point, we have not. Um, we could, you well, know, we can keep it in our back pocket if we feel like you need to. Yeah, that would give us a little bit of wiggle yeah. room if we had to move that number a little bit. I mean, not to say it couldn't happen but, again. But, but at 1698, so that was our actual, right? Yeah. Yes. So we were about 2000, so we were probably about 1.7 last year. So, yeah, I, I'd probably go 1.7, but we can. Not that much difference. We can wait until the day. Yeah. Okay. So that's everything for revenues. 
um, arena. They made a couple of changes there, I think. And we removed the 16th, the point Edward Miner had asked to put in a, an electronic lock on their storage room. We took that out. It's about 1600 or something like that. I think that's the only change yeah. on that. The only change on that one. Uh, community hall, we didn't change anything there. Fire, um, we raised the contribution to the new truck that's been no more expecting delivery in 2026. We raised that contribution to reserve by 100,000. Um, I think everything else. We've asked, so these items in blue, that's everything, the grant that we just found out we're not getting. No. Those are all the items that we were going to purchase with that grant money. We've asked fire department to go and just review those items and see if there's any that they would still like to purchase, even though we don't have the grant money to buy them. So we didn't just take them out because we're not getting the grant. We asked for a further review. Um, do, we ever, do we ever get feedback on why we didn't get a grant or is it just yes or no answer? That letter was pretty blunt. Um, you're not getting the grant. There's no appeal. In that case, there was, there's no explanation at all. Yeah, just my own curiosity yep. as, you know, this is how we saw you as a community or, mm -hmm. or whatever. So. It's, I suppose we could follow up with them potentially and, you know, yeah, we're not appealing your decision. We're just wondering why. Yeah. And yeah, we can do that. No. Um, so the library, there's a, an expense here of $25,000 to redo some flooring on the second floor and do the stairs going up to the second floor as well. Um, 25,000 and that the county is requesting that um, based on a lot of the, you know, with the leaky roof that they dealt with yep. the year, there's some issues with that. So they just like get it cleaned up and have it be a little more, a little warmer. There's Inviting. I think part of it is not carpeted. It's just yeah. a hard surface. So they'd, yeah, just have it's something a little more comfortable and. So that's the request there. What am I looking at now? Still us. Um, there is nothing for the police department. Emergency management is just some. Um, he usually puts in eighteen hundred, but we're carrying forward what he didn't spend. Yeah. So I'm just bumping it up. So good. Yeah, I mean, he has intentions. So. So public works. Um, not a whole lot of changes. Well, oh no, sorry, a whole lot of changes yeah. in public work. Um, so sixty thousand dollar contribution to the heavy truck reserve. Um, there is still money in there for a pickup from that was budgeted for in twenty twenty three. We've carried that money forward, and we'll do something with that when the new uh, manager is hired. Um. $250,000 is the condition assessment that works nearly wrapped up. The next bunch of numbers, the 241,000 is a street sweeper and then three attachments and a year of extended warranty. And the recommendation was to uh, get rid of those expenses. Um, $22,000 for some repairs to pathway and kind of indetermined for sure where yet, but I think the biggest concern is right around the poplar trees, just kind of where the market south is near the market west of the splash pad. Yeah. Um, Twenty-one thousand dollars for pathway lighting upgrades. So um, they're we're getting into some maintenance costs and such there. So they're wanting to start replacement program there. Um, so this thirty-five thousand and the thirteen thousand that is to replace. The box on one of the dump trucks. Uh, it's getting pretty tender and aged. And if it gets a hole in it or something, we're going to have to replace it. So the 15,000 is a straight replacement. And then if we want to go with a stainless steel box, it'd be another 13,000. That truck has, it's um, 16 40, years uh, old and has 48,000 kilometers on it. So that, I mean, there should be lots of life left in the truck. But the box, because it's full of salt all the time, or not all the time, but you know, the salt is the big yeah. piece there. So, and then um,
21.7 for the two-way plow. That is, um, they bought a two-way plow for one of the trucks last summer or last winter, and they quite liked it. So they, they're putting in to um, get a second one for the second truck. Um, a new plow and chassis, that was a total of about $415,000. So Steve got a price on that. Um, so just to make council aware, if we needed to replace a truck, it's about $415,000 or so for just over 400,000, I guess, and approximately a two year timeline for delivery. But the intent was not to make that purchase this year, but there will be a report coming forward about replacement um, because because it takes two years to get it if, if we need it. So, um, a snow plow, uh, then the new, the replacement uh, Kubota lawnmower, 38,000 and change. And then as we said, we've added a $10,000 revenue above, uh, $40,000 for a side-by-side -side type vehicle to move employees around in the summer months. Um, $7,500 for crack sealing, which is kind of something that gets done every year, but didn't get done last year. This $30,000 for catch basins, that's catch basin cleaning. Uh, which we used to do a third of it every year. Then we went to every other year. When Nimron was here, he recommended it be done every year. Most of that work is being done this year by Badger with the condition assessments. So um, that may come out of there, but we thought we'd just leave it until budget day because it's um, in case there are repairs, it might not be a bad idea to leave it there. And it's if we don't need it, fine, but it, it, it'd be nice to have that cushion there for repair because some of those repairs are quite substantial. So at this point, we've just left it. The 108,000 is what is left of, there's expenses related to Matt throughout the budget. The 108,000 is what's left over. Um, after last year's revenue minus this year's expenses, there's 108,000 left. Um, there's about 230,000 in the reserve for water ground, waterfront park playground equipment already. So that 108 would go into that reserve. Um, the next two items, there's that big electrical panel they bring down into waterfront park whenever we have events, and that's to make that a permanent fixture. And it's the cost of the fixture and then labor to install it. Uh, $70,000 addition for repairs to the tennis courts. Um, and that's, that was added in and it's a, kind of more of a placeholder right now um there's still a lot of a lot more work to be done to determine what we're going to do there fifteen thousand dollars for new picnic tables in waterfront park and that also is a placeholder number there's you know you can buy five six hundred dollar tables you can buy fifteen hundred dollar tables so that's more of a um you know, council wants to say spend ten thousand on picnic tables, and then we'll figure out which what's the best bang for our buck and um, get some new tables down there. Uh, we've added in the uh, two two more radar signs, similar to what's on Michigan Ave now. So the public works budget is about a million dollars lower than it was when we started, and most of that is playground equipment. And the uh, street sweeper, the dump truck. Um, it probably doesn't make a big deal. It's just moving it. I don't know whether we should put the radar sign under the police section. You nice actually had something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and okay. there was discussion, which will happen on budget day. Is do we need two of those? This one was suggested for St. Clair Street, and I don't think that we're going to need it. Like. The redo is designed to affect speed. Do we really need to put a sign up? But the other other place was Front Street. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what the art, you know, what the discussion well, is. I thought Paradigm said Venetian was a, a speed concern too. Right. It, it's so not as be. residential, but we do have new and, and maybe development. that's better than front because front's been redone. I don't but yeah. I, don't, I was just that, that stood out in my mind yeah. when yeah. Yeah. that. Traffic assessment. And it is, it's true. These signs can be moved too. Yeah. Um, but I think 
the idea was leaving them stationary, but they can be moved if, you know, maybe leave one in one spot for three months rather than move it every week. I, I agree, though, if we're going to have St. Clair Street torn up, we're not going to put one there this year. Mm -hmm. I have a question about the street sweeper. Mm -hmm. Did we not rent that before? So uh, my understanding is the bridge already owned one okay. and allowed us to use it, but that's probably... It's probably been eight or ten we, years. I thought we bought one off we, them we a long time ago. Yeah, a long a while. But ago. it only lasted. Yeah, not long. Yeah. So we hire it out now. Yeah. Like for the last several years, we've hired somebody to come in and do the work for us. We spend about eight thousand a year. Yeah. On street sweeping. So yeah. the discussion so, was against buying all that equipment and truck. Just go with the eight thousand with the man that comes in and does. Yeah, it. no, that number stood out, and I'm I'm assuming it got discussed this morning. But yeah, that was kind of caught my eye too as a as a big ticket item. They said the guy does a good job as long yeah. as you schedule early. You get yeah. you know you get in to his schedule. And part of it gets charged back to the county. Oh yes. The only downside is, I mean, when you have your own machine, you can use it anytime you want to. Yeah. Where when you're hiring it out, but it's obviously a very expensive convenience to have your yeah. own machine and wow. those machines are fairly notorious for maintenance costs too. yeah well i think and even if you're uh, renting it you you kind of get into a uh, flow with the person and say okay well point of usually rents on these days mm -hmm. so we'll kind of have them penciled in year to year so i don't think that will present too much of a problem Um, road reconstruction, six million dollars. Now we know that the estimate come in for St. Clair Street is about five point three or five point four, but we're leaving it at six million because there's like there's engineering uh, supervision costs, and it's St. Clair Street, so contingency. We're concerned for contingency, so there's just yeah. we're leaving it at six million. Hopefully, it comes in where it's supposed to, but we are playing it safe on that one. Does the county have any plans for Michigan Ave? I They're doing know. emergency repair right now. Yeah, I know um, my area. I always thought was getting a little rough. Was between Christina Street and Front Street. Um, I don't believe there's any plans to do it this year. Um, when we were talking last summer with Paradigm about the active transportation study, they they talked a little bit about about uh, Michigan between Christina and Front. Yeah. Um, now I don't think it was, and then we also had one of the business owners up on. Michigan is wanting to redo his parking lot and he has some concerns with the road out in front of his place. So he was after the county to see if they would make repairs there. Okay. And he was told that the county wouldn't be doing anything there for three to four years at, at the earliest. Okay. Yeah, I just thought that was a little more rough than what Front Street was mm -hmm. when they redid Front Street between Light and Exmo. Right. That's why I asked. But it yeah. might be because when they did Front Street, they added in the bike lane and Michigan Ave, they'd already done that change. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why. Yeah, this, this, there's no bike lane there. That's between- On um, Michigan Ave? Yeah, it's between Late and um, on Front Street. Is that what you're talking about? Michigan Ave. Oh yeah, yeah. In that area. Yeah. That was just paint. I just thought the- Well, know, I remember, a little bit rough. remember when we had that project that we did that road. It doesn't yeah, it's, seem like it was that long ago. It doesn't, but it was a company from Windsor that came in <laughs> and did all the yeah. asphalt. Um, didn't last very long. Um, the next three items are the there are three intersections: so Michigan and Alfred, Livingston and Monk, and. Livingston and Alfred are for sure pedestrian crossings, and I'm pretty sure that Monk is as well, but I'm going to check with Lydia to just get confirmation on that because the paradigm study did talk about a realignment there. So I just, obviously that's not included in the price that's there. So I just want to make sure what she did include there. Uh, $30,000 on Louisa Street for line painting. That was a number that came out of the paradigm report, and that's like to put in parking lanes in a center line on Louisa Street. Um, I don't think it'll take $30,000 like those other numbers on the three intersections in the Paradigm Park were quite a bit higher than those numbers that 
Lydia did those estimates. Mm -hmm. So I think the 30,000 is more than we'll need, but we've also committed, we want to do some other line work at, you know, stop signs and like replacing the stop bars and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we're just, it says 30,000 for Louisa street, but we would do Louisa street and then whatever else we could do and set some priorities. And so that's why that number is at 30,000 because there's more than just Louisa street to do. Okay. Um, Bayview Storm Station, um, we removed the cement pads. Um, everything else stayed the same. So Jay is talking a little bit about um, the upgrades that he wants to do at the Bayview Storm Station is replacing the diesel engines to run the pumps. Um, he's thinking around a three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar project. If we put this seventy-five thousand in, then he'll have three twenty-five in reserves. Plus, he's carrying forward forty-three thousand from last year, so that brings us to three hundred and sixty-eight of a three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar project. Plus, we build eighteen percent of this back to the bridge if it goes ahead. So he's he's moving forward a little bit on planning for this project. Um, but for now, we're just we're budgeting the 75,000 going into the reserve. A further report will come to the committee with a recommendation if if we want to proceed with the purchase of the diesel engines and uh, proceed with that work but for now, it's just putting the money into the reserve. Um, the Alexander Street Storm Stations is $25,000 for cleaning the wet wells. No, $5,000 cleaning the wet wells. $25,000 for a reserve for a pipe that is going to have to be replaced there. Um, so that's 25 out of about $150,000 project. And that's, um, I think that's, that's a new reserve, right, Tina? I don't think we have anything mm -hmm. set aside for that one yet. Thank you, Jake. So then we go to the municipal office where we haven't talked about it. Well, we've talked a little bit of these items, but not very much this morning. So computer equipment, um, that's just kind of a standard number each year. Um, Keystone support, 14.5, and that's a number that's pretty standard number each year. Audit requirements for 10,000. 10, Asset management, um, that's, is that the licensing for? That's just uh, kind of a, to bump it up to between the, Odd requirement and asset management and what we're carrying forward. I just kind of evened it out to get us about close to 50,000. Okay. Account. All right. Uh, 15,000 for appreciation night, 6,000 for the calendar, uh, building improvements, $5,000 for flooring in the front entrance and the stairwell. And uh, that we don't have a quote for that, but that's the, the uh, that number comes from quotes we got several years ago for that work. Uh, 13,920 is that, and about 12,000 something we're bringing forward from last year. Uh, we budgeted last year to replace the furnaces. We had them come in, look at the furnaces, and they said, if you're doing the furnaces, the air conditioning needs to be done as well. So that's why we're adding the 13,000 and do them both at the same time. Uh, Christmas in the Village, 10,000. 2026 election reserve, 10,000. Special events, so that's Canada Day. Canada Day Waterfront Park, 10,000. Um, the eScribe software is 5,600, 5,800. Uh, replacement of chairs, 10,000. And that's these chairs. And this is kind of the same idea as the picnic tables. There was about three or four different styles. So we just sort of went with an amount and then you can choose which one you like. Mm -hmm. Then these next items were items that uh, Deputy Mayor Grimes had brought forward um, that he would like us to look into. So he suggests we start a reserve for 150th anniversary celebration, 50,000, an upgrade to the park, uh, to washrooms and waterfront park. Um, his suggestion was one of those self cleaning washrooms. Um, so we've just thrown a number in there for now for 100,000. Um, Alexandra, he wanted upgrades, uh, the sidewalk from Alexandra, no, from St. Clair along Alexandra to the waterfront to replace that sidewalk. 
Um, the sidewalk's in pretty good condition, but it's a bit narrow. Um, but we have we don't have a price on that one. So are, do we want to turn that into a connection connection for the trail more than a sidewalk? That's what um, when we were talking about the trail, the path along St. Clair Street, yeah. and eventually running it through Veterans Park into the arena and out to yeah. Alexandra, and then tying it into. So yeah. then it would miss the block of houses. Yeah. They just, you know, like we're knee house and that. Yeah. They continue with the traditional sidewalk. Yeah. And the trail picks up at the yeah. arena. The, the, there is not a lot of room to do that, though. I, I think oh, our. Yeah. Um, you said there's some really narrow spots. Yeah. Our path, especially going under the bridge. It, there's, it would really have to narrow down. Like I think our our regular path, I believe, is three meters wide. Yeah. There's no way we'd have three meters along there. So what, what does a new sidewalk have to be? Because I remember when we were initially talking about any new sidewalks, and it had to do with the Disabilities Act, yeah. where they had to be wider. So I wonder if we can catch that loophole. Yeah. Off the top of my head, I want to say one and a half meters. Okay. Um, we'd have to verify that to be, yeah. to be said, certain. But. Well, Steve said those sidewalks meet the standard. They're just narrower than other areas. Yeah, but if we had to replace them, oh, yeah. being replaced yeah. moving forward as under the Canadians with Disabilities Act, so they yeah. would have to be wide enough for anybody who needed Absolutely. motorized. And you know, potentially, if we had a project to do a path down on Vandra, we may be able to make an agreement with the bridge. For the extra piece of land. Well, possibly, but I mean, there are well, we don't like there it, are but... supports for the bridge oh, on oh, the boulevard. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, like in in one spot. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like think by it would that, be yeah, nearly yeah. impossible. Yeah, I <laughs> wasn't thinking about that. Maybe you maybe you deal with that with signage, like you have it be the width you need, or it could go around, and then it, it narrows. Well, I mean, yeah, we'd we'd yeah. have to look at yeah. it. Right? Um, like it's where their their gate is into the back of the arena. Yeah. Maybe you could swing it or something. But... Possibly. Yeah, because we have a split on the trail yeah. um, between Monk Street and I think Alice or right. Mott, where it, there's two pieces of the trail. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, that, that was one of the suggestions. We don't have a price on it yet at this point. Okay. Um, Fifteen thousand dollars for like a, an entertainment series down in Waterfront Park. Um. So repairing the paved trail near the large trees, that's that number is up above. It had been brought forward. I think Greg brought it forward, but so did the public work staff. So it's in here once. Um, the municipal property asset review, that was when we were talking about building the new environmental services building. Deputy Mayor suggested we do this, have somebody come in and do a study to evaluate all of our facilities. And that was the number that was suggested, so it's in there for now. Uh, Police department exterior lights, that's that would be a fairly minor expense. We'll just there it doesn't need to be a capital item. Um, street sweeper again was suggested above. Uh, Point Edward sign for five thousand. That is um like a sign out on the 401. Um who Tim it's been over one column will be taken out. It's been taken out. So, um, who said because Tim had had a conversation with Jason Cole? Yeah, the MO. And Jason told him the MOE said we wouldn't be able to put a sign in on, like he was talking about on the, as you're coming off the 402 on a Christina in that cloverleaf area there, putting a welcome sign in there. And Jason was told we wouldn't be able to do that. So we'll take that $5,000 out. So everybody's aware, though, there's one, when you come off the bridge, there is a Point Edward population 2000 and change, mm -hmm. but there isn't one coming the other direction. And I always thought that was the MTO was in charge of those signs that were on the highway. I, th I thought that's what we were after, not just, just one of those blue signs, you know, as you drive through any big place on the highway, they'll say mm -hmm. what it is, what the population yeah. is. Because I know where it could go. It's where they threw the big cannabis sign. I don't think it really needs to be there anymore. Do you know what I'm talking about? I take the highway all the time, yeah. just going in and out of town. I take it every day too. But yeah, and yeah. there's a big sign that says, you know, cannabis can't, can't be can't, transported. Okay, I know the, the sign you mean. Okay, yeah. And it's right on the side of the road, right where a perfect spot for Point Edward population yeah. 2000. 
I could be on. I could be misunderstood. The way I had it, the way I understood it, is he wanted it in that clover leaf and it be a, like a, a substantial welcome sign. Yeah, not like the county it. has um, just passed uh, seventy nine there. Mm -hmm. Like it's not something like that. Just I, the way I understood it was like because Plimpton, Wyoming has one on the highway now that hadn't been there forever, and it has Plimpton, Wyoming blue sign population okay. right on the side of the highway. So maybe I misunderstood because. I know someone in Point Edward keeps asking me why we don't have that sign right at Christina Street mm -hmm. because okay. we're right on the highway. Oh. The highway comes right through Point Edward. Okay. So maybe just get a clarification on that because I brought it up probably about 10 years ago. And when I did, I was told it had to go through the MTO because it was their highway signs. And if that's the case, it shouldn't cost us. Okay. No, we already took that out. You're one column. I think you were trying to get the writing in there. Yeah. Oh, I, I just did your one in Florida of yeah. the one as you're coming off the bridge and just before you get onto the highway when you come through the last customs check, yeah. there's a sign there that'll yeah. say Point Edward. Yeah. And it's just a blue MTO yeah. sign. But there isn't one the other way. Hmm. Now we gotta drive it and remember. And look. <laughs> okay, then this trail tactile warning system. Um, the suggestion was budgeting ten thousand dollars for that. Um, we've taken that out um, because it like it doesn't need to be done because AODA requires you to make upgrades when you're redoing something. We didn't redo those that yeah. piece of it. So that's why it wasn't done. He said if we had redone the sidewalk, we would have had to do it. Yeah. And so you did because they redid the sidewalk, right? Yep. Yeah. And so that it doesn't mean yeah. we can't do it, but that's why it wasn't done. So I um I think Deputy Mayor was saying that he thought we had to do it. My understanding anyway. So we took that out for now. Um, and then this is the light, the sign out at Michigan and Christina that's being repaired right now. Yep. And we've we pre-approved $5,000 for that. And it's to, we're also looking at putting in a new light in that location. Um, then the $375,000 to transfer to the operating budget is still the same number. $1,000 for uh, transit subsidy. Um, 45,000, oh yeah, right, I got it. 44,675 in donations and 39,000 in sponsorships. And I will bring up the sheet that summarizes those, bear with me. So these are the requests we have, Bridgeview School, 15,000, Blue Coast Primary Health Recruitment, 2,100, uh, 500 for the Lampton County Plowmen's Association, 200 for farm safety, 2,000 for farm safety, or for pathways for the Secret Santa program, 22,500 for Point Edward Minor, Age Friendly Expo, 2,375, and that's they're renting the arena. Uh, for the for the event they're getting they're renting for two days plus five hours and they're asking us to donate back to them so that's why that's you know that number uh the blue water anglers is an interesting one um they have we have three requests in here from them so they sent us a letter back in the fall in the past we've donated five thousand dollars for the salmon derby and five hundred dollars for the the third item there is so those are the two they asked us to increase the $5,000. They also asked us to raise, at one time they asked us to raise the 500 to 3,000. And I told them, no, the, the 7,500, like council approved the 7,500 already. 
So I've been told, I told them that and then told them we'd leave the 500 where it's at. They've also asked us to consider a second. Uh, they, they're expanding the, sal the salmon derby and adding a walleye category. And they wanna have a $3,000 first place award for that as well. And they're giving the village the first opportunity to sponsor that as well. So that, that $2,500 number, they're actually asking for 3,000, I think. I think I have that and you said that included the 500. I, so what I, yeah, what my understanding was, I thought the 3,000 was in place of 500. Okay, so. So right. I didn't know anything about the $3,000 request. So then that means the, I'll increase that, but that means the waterfront <clears throat> marked over here will go down by that 500. Okay, the waterfront, oh, the playground and reserve? That. Oh, with, right. If okay. everything's approved. Yeah, if everything was approved, yeah. So blue water anglers are actually asking for seventy five hundred plus twenty plus three thousand plus five hundred. Um, in the past, the five hundred has come out of the mayor's account. She's sponsored out of that in the past, but we've moved it over this. Um, so the five hundred was part of the walleye derby in August because yes. I know I delivered it a couple times because I don't go to AMO, and I was the only one that was still around. Yep, and that. Is that going to be moved into the salmon one? No, no, so it's still, still going to have that. Yes. So the salmon derby is adding. So the the walleye yeah. on line twenty four is a second within the salmon derby. They're having a walleye event as well, and then they're having a separate walleye event. That's the five hundred dollars. Okay. So. Two prize, they're they're requesting two prizes in one event and then a second event. Okay. Okay. Then Blue Water International Grand Fondo. Um, I don't think they stated an amount, but we put in the same amount uh, that they gave us last year. So that's one of the sponsors sponsor levels. Yeah. Um, so they yeah, that's right. They gave us yeah. a sponsorship package, but didn't really request an amount. So we went at the same level we went last year. Canada Day Committee is asking for 10. Celebration of Lights is up to eight. Rib Fest, 2,500, same type of deal where there's a sponsorship package. So we're, we've are we put in the same amount as we did last year. Santa Claus Parade, 2,500. And Junior B Lacrosse is uh, a sponsorship package. And we just put $2,500 as kind of a middle of the road um, option there we haven't sponsored them anything in the past and they submitted this request and so there's in your budget books there's a letter from them with you know so that's okay. a new one and then the mayor the promotions account has stayed the same at twenty five thousand. you know I'll give the pacers a a sponsorship in the past i thought we had i i don't remember doing it i mean i don't think so at all <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I got one more, but I um, reminded the person last week again that I needed a letter. And this is for the housing initiative that's happening at Mackinac. And she said, oh, yeah, I'll get that to you. And I was, I was going to get it. So if, um, if I don't get something, then maybe I'll just give her a little something out of the, uh, mayor. the mayor's budget. Yeah. Because... I mean, it is point order, and we don't have a lot of housing initiatives that way ourselves because of land. But I I reminded a couple times. So. So the plan is you've got the budget books there now. It's got the old, um, like the summary is the old summary without any changes are made today. Yeah. As Tina said she'll give off. She'll provide new printouts yep. for next Thursday. That are updated numbers. We can circulate it out electronically. Mm -hmm. The updated, I'll do that. I'll circulate I'll it to off. everybody. Like paper. Yeah, yeah, we'll have paper copies for your for budget day. I'll send it out electronically so everybody can see. So the next few changes. Yeah. So that's where we're at. We're okay. somewhere in the range of about seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars still of changes that need to be made to the budget. Seven. Seven twenty-eight. Okay. 
that's just information that doesn't yeah, have to be received just, file yeah. or anything like that. Okay. If there's any changes you'd like to make prior, but most like a lot of these things we'll discuss them. Yeah, I was gonna say I think it should be a group discussion with almost everything that's yeah. still standing. Mm -hmm. The only other thing that was mentioned, one thing that was mentioned this morning when you were here, they public works hired for summer students. Mm -hmm. So that's all done. Do we get any funding? Haven't heard yet. Yeah. Um still, <laughs> yeah. No, we haven't heard anything yet. But, um, is there any other new business? No. Okay, we'll move to the review of financial statements. And I since we don't have any columns to offset anything, sure. we have another yeah. budget, there's nothing really there. Yeah. Well, there's numbers there, but, but not numbers, meaningful. They're not real numbers. Yeah. Okay, move to receiving Seconded. And our next meeting will be April the 9th. For German. Seconded.